Hello and welcome back. This is episode 5 of the Rocketry series. We're going to carry on today uh, on our scratch building a rocket project. So if you've watched episode 4, hopefully you've uh, got enough kind of uh, uh, info from that to uh, cut your two tubes to length. Um, so you can make the parts for the uh, upper payload section and the lower uh, booster section. Um, I just wanted to have a chat through in this, this episode about how uh, my approach for fins um, and the approaches for the tube coupler and the nose cone. So fins. Uh, the fins for this, I, I'm going to make them out of 3mm um, um, plywood because I've got a stock of nice sort of uh, small sheets of, it's actually laser cutting ply but it CNC's really well with low lots of it and it's a nice quality plywood so I'm, I'm going to make them out of plywood. Now I'm going to use my CNC uh, machine but the thing is is that with this type of, particularly this type of fin, it's not too complex that you could actually just take the details out of um, the the dialog box for the fins and you could probably just draw them up on a piece of plywood and use a saw to, to cut them out and you know sun the edges and, and uh, get them get them pretty accurate that way and um, certainly because you know they're a simple kind of uh, chopper side obviously I'm lazy and it's easier for me to use the uh, CNC machine so for the CNC machine I um, need a vector file or a vector drawing to uh, make the sort of tool paths from. So this isn't going to be a CNC tutorial particularly, but if you have access to a CNC machine, or indeed a laser cutter is excellent for this, you'll need some kind of vector image of those. So handily, Open Rocket has this option. If you go to File, Print, Slash, Export, PDF and click that, this actually... Um, uh, it gives you this checklist uh, of stuff that it's going to kind of put into it, chuck into a PDF for you. Let's just actually preview and pin the whole thing. So you can see what it gives you is it gives you, it, and this is quite nice if you want to kind of print off and keep records of your rockets. Um, uh, you've got a, 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 the plan view, um, you've got the all your uh, uh, sort of motor options. And then this is quite nice, quite handy if you're trying to remember the dimension of something when you're cutting a tube. Um, it's got all the kind of part details of all the different things you've added and the sort of key uh, stuff about them. This is interesting. This is a uh, fin template. No, it's not a fin template. It's a fin. What do you call these? A fin position template, I'm going to call it. There's a better word for them than that. But basically, if you print this to scale uh, and cut it out, and then wrap it around your uh, body tube and overlap it so that these uh, little areas here overlap, it, you can mark accurately where your fins will go and they'll be set equidistantly around the uh, tube. There are other ways to do that and we'll cover that in a later video. But this last uh, page is probably what we're more interested in. This is a drawing of the, uh, the fin and these are drawings of the centering rings. So of course if you've got um, something like Inkscape you can open this PDF in there and you can edit all the rest out you can get three of these uh, copied out the three fins and three uh, two the two centering rings and then you could use whatever you do when you use your if you've got access to a cnc or a laser cutter you know laser cutter might be changing the uh, the colors of the uh, cut lines and things um yeah so it's really useful for that and um, the other thing to know just quickly about that PDF export thing is that you can turn off all the stuff you don't need. So if you're just interested in um, uh, fin marking guide, that's what that was called. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, yeah, if you're just interested in like the fill uh, templates and the centering ring templates, you can just get them to save those out as a PDF. So hopefully that gives you a start of some ideas. Oh, and I've got an alternate idea of how you can make centering rings um, by hand with this funky little tool, which I will uh, show later in the video. Okay, so for the tube coupler, couple of options here one is um, that you make it out of cardboard if you have some leftover cardboard tube you can do a thing where you slice the tube slightly kind of squeeze it and re-roll it to make it slightly smaller and then re-glue it to make a coupler and we'll do uh, either a bit on that in this video or on a later video um, but what what I'm going to do is I'm going to use I've used my 3D printer reasonably successfully to uh, print tube couplers for rockets, 
And the same for the nose cone, I'm going to use a 3D printer because um, that's a really uh, kind of, you know, an obvious use for a 3D printer. There are, again, there are ways, I don't particularly do this, you could carve or turn um, uh, a nose cone out of a piece of balsa, but I'm going to use the 3D printers that I have. So for these, all you need to do really is um, make a note of the dimensions but um, uh, 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 that, that you uh, want for them. Um, this, I'll show you now. Well, in fact, I've got a little... Um, um, bit of a little bit of a sketch for a piece of software called open scad which is a free um, 3d modeling uh, software um, that you can download and I've got a kind of little bit of a sketch for that program that um, will uh, create both of these items for you so if we hop onto the internet um, this is the I'll put this link in the description this is a link to uh, the OpenSCAD uh, uh, files which I have that create those parts for you. Um, if you Google OpenSCAD and find your way to uh, OpenSCAD.org, um, it tells you a little bit about it and you can download and install OpenSCAD. It has got installs for Mac OS Windows and all beautiful flavors of Linux, which I urge you all to use. <laughs> so yeah, um, then come back to my uh, GitHub. Um, click uh, the clone or download and click download zip and there we go you it should download quite quickly because it's pretty small click on it to open the zip open the file and then we've got um, there's a couple of files here this is for transitions which we haven't talked about yet that's where if you want your rocket body tube diameter to change from a thicker section to a thinner section or vice versa and um, so there's a little sketch that helps you build those but this is the one we want double click on this and it should open it in open scad uh, we'll zoom out on those and you should see there this is like the sort of preview render where it kind of leaves a few artifacts in but um we've got a, a tube coupler and we've got a nose code so over here don't be scared of all this code it's quite simple if i could do it absolutely anybody can do it so basically all you would really need to change unless you want to get into this is uh some of these parameters over here so hopefully i've commented everything quite well so the first one here is we've got the nose cone length so this is all in millimeters as it says up here so if you want it shorter or longer uh, change that number uh, the shoulder length that's the uh, if you recall that's the um, the length of uh, nose cone uh, shoulder that goes is the bit that goes inside the body tube uh, the coupler radius um, interesting because I tend to measure things in diameters what I do is I just put in the diameter divided by two um, as the premise there you could of course like you know that's quite an easy one I don't know why I did that you could put 25.5 would quite be quite simple to do uh, but sometimes um, because I'm going back between tubes and, and load codes I quite often just stick in the the diameter and then uh, put divide it by two so yeah the coupler radius uh, deals with two things it deals with the thickness of the shoulder uh, the width of the shoulder sorry um, and also it gives sets the outside diameter of the coupler because both those things are things that sliding fit inside the uh, body tubes uh, the body external radius that sets the width of the bottom of the cone because you want that to match the outside radius of the uh, body tube and then the couple of length quite simply so actually I think uh, for our rocket I'm going to aim for a um, a 70 millimeter coupler there so uh, you change that item there and actually a quick shortcut for the preview render is to hit F5 there we go we can see that a coupler uh, increased in length and then um, what you do in OpenSCAD is you hit I won't do this you hit F6 and that does a full render which because of my aging computer would take uh, a couple of minutes to do and then you click this button here the STL um, which exports an STL model of these two things um, as they would appear on a build plate of your 3D printer. Um, I'm not going to go into how we 3D print, but then obviously you'd open that STL in your slicing software or the slicing software that your makerspace that has the 3D printer um, uses and uh, do your settings and uh, print these items. Um, sometimes actually I separate these out uh, into two items because quite often the coupler I've done it maybe um, with a wall thickness of about four millimeters I've tended to do um, 
a uh, an infill of about 25 percent to make that quite solid and quite robust uh, the nose cones i tend to do a little bit lighter on infill maybe down to like uh 10 or, or 12 percent infill to keep them quite light but um still still pretty strong so yeah um that's that i think i'll probably uh cut now to uh showing you some of the printed parts on my cut tubes okay thank you very much